thanks again for joining us for the Northern Territory Geological Surveys presentations and what you need to know to apply for co-funding for round 15 of the GDC program. This is series three, how to apply. In this presentation, I'll briefly run you through the funding sequence, how to apply through Grants NT and some tips, the successful applicant information, and key dates. Also available in the guidelines, here is the simplified funding sequence. Applications are currently open and will close on the 29th of April, with proposal templates available on the Exploration Grants page. The assessment panel members score every project individually then come together as a panel to rank all the projects. Greenfield's projects will be ranked against each other and Brownfield's projects will be ranked against each other. The available funding will be split roughly 50-50 between Greenfield's and Brownfield's projects while taking into account the merit of projects and the benefit to the Territory for projects falling around the cutoff point. We aim to have all successful and unsuccessful applicants notified by the end of May. Co-funded projects can only commence after the funding decision is announced and the funding agreement is fully executed. Fieldwork timing is an important component of the funding sequence and assessment process. All projects should propose realistic timeframes. The fieldwork component of the program should be complete by the 1st of December 2022. The remaining of the funding sequence is described in far more detail in the guidelines and under the successful applicant section. I'll now run you through briefly how to apply. All the details can be found in the guidelines or through the Grants NT portal. Applicants must apply online through Grants NT. Applications cannot be accepted by email. There are step-by-step -step guides and other help guides available through the Grants NT portal under the Help section near the Login and Register button. I highly recommend accessing these guides to help navigate through the system. You can register as a new user or log in as an existing user to apply. For new users, applicants will be pr prompted to create individual profile with their personal details. Applicants must then create an organisation profile with the company details or link to an existing organisation profile. Once you have logged in and have selected your organisation profile, you can search for the GDC grant and use the Apply Now button. Fill in the online application form, upload the project specific proposal and all supporting documents as prompted in the online application and detailed in the guidelines. Submit separate applications for all projects seeking co-funding. A tip to gain access to an existing organisation profile. The primary contact from the organisation profile will need to invite an individual to join. You can find these steps through help guides. If this is not possible, say someone has left the organisation, please contact me directly to help add or change details under the organisation profile. One really important tip in the online application process is here, in the funding requested steps. This is particularly relevant for new applicants, but I'll run you through the process using an example. Let's say you're applying for co-funding for geophysics and the total direct costs for the entire program are estimated at $250,000 inclusive of GST. For A, the co-funding amount inclusive of GST would be $100,000. For B, the Territory Supplier Incentive inclusive of GST would, in this case, let's say the contractor is from interstate, the figure would be $0, as an interstate contractor would not meet the eligibility criteria for the Territory Supplier Incentive. 
For C, we're adding the co-funding amount at A and the territory supplier amount at B to give you the total requested co-funding amount inclusive of GST. And at D, the total requested co-funding amount exclusive of GST. The figure at D needs to be accurate as this is the, this is the figure that the Grants NT system uses to award the funding amount if you are successful. If you have any issues during the application process, please contact myself. I'm happy to step you through the process or receive feedback where I can improve the process for subsequent rounds. And I'm happy to pass on feedback to the Grants NT team. Grants NT has been designed to accommodate all grants available from the NT government and functionality and flexibility is constantly improving, especially in response to constructive feedback. For round 15, we've developed a guide for successful applicants outlining some of the important processes if you are successful. It can be found under reporting and acquittal on the Exploration Grants webpage on the Resourcing the Territory website. The advice for successful applicants includes step-by-step -step guides to invoicing, reporting requirements and navigating the Grants NT system. In summary, here are the important dates for round 15 of the GDC. And of most relevance right now is the closing date of Friday the 29th of April at 5 p.m. Australian Central Standard Time. Thanks for joining us for all the presentations on how to apply for round 15 of the GDC. Any queries at any time, please contact us at collaborations.dit at nt.gov.au or phone 08 5424. You can access all of the guidelines, templates and supporting documentation on the Resourcing the Territory website under the Exploration Grants page. And you can apply right now online through grantsnt.nt.gov.au.